G'day guys. So yes, the, the, the shocking news is true that it's uh, overnight our time. Tommy Robinson was reportedly moved from his relatively safe prison to a high, high Muslim populated prison. As he came in, it was banging, shouting, death threats, smashing on his cell wall, cell walls, walls. Sorry. This, it, the, I'm even surprised because it is the UK government digging their heels in, saying we don't care about the, the, the protests worldwide. We're going to make an example of Tommy. They want him dead. There is nothing less that they want. Tommy dead, they think, is going to get rid of the headache. It is a massive mistake. If something happens to Tommy for real... It is going to the. It's going to be the beginning of a civil war in the UK, and one that will probably spread worldwide. I don't know if they don't see that, because it's pretty bloody obvious. If Tommy now, if one of those inmates get a, a chance, they he will kill Tommy. Then imagine what's going to happen. All around the world, Tommies will pop up everywhere. And there will be a civil war, especially in the UK. Now, the only way to keep Tommy safe there in that specific jail is to have him in solitary 24-7 for the remaining of his time, which is illegal, but they have ways around it. They move him from cell to cell and mentally um, that breaks down any man. Either way, Tommy is either dead for real or they're trying to kill his spirit put him in a cell where he knows everybody around him is out to kill him the uk government shame on you and it will not silence us you see you can lock tommy away you can throw away the keys but there are thousands if not millions around the world that are watching you that are watching every step of, that you take we stand with Tommy, and if something happens to him, we're going to blame you. Keep talking about Tommy. Keep spreading the message because there are, there are millions around the world. There are millions around the world that stand with Tommy and realize that Tommy, Tommy was the one man who stood up for us for so many years. And we're not going to let the government get away with this. Shame on them.